gone into the Canadian bands. Canada Day to my very few Canadian viewers. Now, I've ripped into CanCon on this show before. And if you don't know what CanCon is, congratulations on actually having good radio stations. But my treasonous tastes do allow for some homeland bands to rampage my record player. So, to pay tribute to the land that brought you Brian Adams and Celine Dion, I'm so sorry, I will give you all five killer Canadian metal bands. So, without further ado, let's get going, eh? start this list off with a little lesser known band. Hailing from Calgary, Alberta, Riot City took their time to come out with their first and at the time of this recording only release. Forming in 2011, cutting a demo in 2014 and finally in 2019 releasing the bitchin' Burn the Night. <laughs> And as you can plainly hear, this is a band to watch. Ripping riffs and shredding solos plucked straight from the new wave of British heavy metal, an anthemic atmosphere out the ass, mouth, and ears, and a soaring singer by the name of Kale Savvy, who I recently heard had to step down and was replaced with singer Jordan Jacobs. But regardless, I still look forward to that new album whenever it comes out, and you should too, because Riot City, rip. Next. in Guelph, Ontario, the thrash metal legends Razor are a band whose name fits their sound perfectly. From the older albums with original vocalist Stace Sheepdog McLaren to the more newer offerings with singer Bob Reed, it's all razor fast thrash that plunges deep into your goddamn ear holes. I tell you people, you can't go wrong with whiplash inducing riffs and drums and screaming vocals. Although I prefer the albums with Sheepdog at the helm, albums like Evil Invaders, Malicious Intent, and my personal all-time favorite Razor album, Violent Goddamn Restitution. But don't you dare sleep on the Bob Reed material with albums like Shotgun Justice, Open Hostility, and their latest album to date, 1997's Decibels. You just can't go wrong with Razor. Next band. Sticking with bands whose names match their sound to a T, Ottawa's own Annihilator has been delivering material that annihilates since 1989. Helmed by guitar extraordinaire Jeff Waters, this band has been called many things. Thrash metal, progressive metal, progressive thrash metal, but what they can't be called is bad. Every time they switched up their sound, it's mostly been good. From the melodic thrash of Never Neverland to the more groovier affairs of King of the Kill, you've got a lot of killer material to sift through. All lights below is crushed under the power of machine annihilator. This machine annihilator. And like I said earlier, they're still going strong, releasing an album last year by the name of Ballistic Sadistic, which is a ballistic, sadistic animal. Hey, they can't all be winners. If you have any good taste at all, you'll let Annihilator annihilate you. Next.
there's a new movement in the metal world known as the new wave of traditional heavy metal. Bands that want to go back to the good old days of Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. And with all this crap death metal and black metal out there, I am so glad this is gaining more popularity. With bands like Ambush, Haunt, Riot City even, and Toronto Titan Sculpist. These guys bring it, and I mean bring it, bring it. Melodic with a capital M and mixed with a speed and savagery that will require a lot of facial reconstructive surgery to correct. Their discography may be limited, but it's all killer, no filler, and I hope that fourth album comes out sooner rather than later. If I don't hear Skullfist screaming out of your stereos this Canada Day, I will hunt you down and make them. Now, there are a lot of great metal bands I could have talked about, but I didn't want this video being an hour long, so even though it's not technically a ranking video, I'm gonna give you all some honorable mentions. Sacrifice, Killer Dwarves, Voivod, Exciter, and Anvil. Yes, that Anvil. All right, on to the last band. Really? Helix? If you're confused as to why some people may have that reaction, it's probably because they only know Helix from the Canadiana that is the Trailer Park Boys. Helix was a wicked concert. Fuck us a lot of dope with that concert. I mean, they had good lyrics. Like, give me an R, O, C, K, and then the crowd yells rock really loud. Now that's a fucking concert. I'm not giving anyone a fucking R. Russians don't do stuff like that. And they got these lyrics about how trees are talking to each other, how different sides of your brain works, or outer space bullshit. Give me a fucking hour. But when I actually went and digged through their discography, I came away pleasantly surprised. From the bar band affectations of their first two records to the more polished 80s killers known as No Rest for the Wicked and Long Way to Heaven. It's a long Even their 90s and beyond stuff has some killer material in there, despite Brian Vollmer's voice aging. I know it's a shame people get old, who knew, huh? Helix are not just Ricky's favorite band. They're one of my favorite Canadian metal bands, and if you give them a listen, they'll become one of yours as well. Well, that does it for another episode of Winfield Recommends. Happy Canada Day, you hosers. Grab some red and white mite and a Canadian beer of your choosing. And until next time, I'm Liam Winfield. Keep on rocking.